We are in Sutherland, Nebraska for the Real Farmers, Real Experiences, Farm Workshop, Field Day, Irrigation Technology going on here at Pullman Farms for the Rural Radio Network. I'm Jesse Harding. Joining us is Rory Pullman. He is the chairman of Nebraska Water Balance Alliance, also hosting this event going on in Sutherland, Nebraska. Rory, kind of talk about uh, the, the first ideas, why you wanted to have such a day out here at the farm. At the Water Balance Alliance, we have, we're, we're about five years old. And one of our main focuses has been gathering great ideas and being a host for that and then bringing them together and then sharing those experiences with people so that they can look at it in a different way. How do we, how do we manage things better? Not only uh, the on-farm agronomy and those kinds of, of issues that, that have always been on our plate, but now water. And, and continuing that conversation and, and getting that, that information and that technology um, out into uh, on, on farm. We've had several different folks here uh, talking to the producers that are going to be here, talking to the key people interested in the water topic. Uh, starting out on Monday, we had a discussion not only just focusing here on Nebraska, but globally. What were some of the topics of conversation they were talking about and who was here? Well, two, two of the main, uh, the reason for two days is the, the first day, uh, the focus was on a local to global, and the invitation was, was put out for uh, decision makers, for policy makers, for the, the people that are involved with at, a, at the level of, of making policy decisions. And, and so that first day, we brought in a, a panel that uh, not only had local roots, uh, we had a local producer from Gothenburg uh, that, that talked uh, not only at the NRD level, but at the farm level. Uh, we brought in a, a gentleman from Water for Food and gave us that, that kind of that, that what it, what is, what's Nebraska's involvement at the, at the bigger level besides the state level. Uh, we had two fellows uh, from Texas that I had met at the Water Law Conference uh, earlier in February and, and I had, the interesting thing about them was that was the, uh, the, 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 the similarities and the challenges that we face are already expressed in Texas at a higher level and declines in water supplies and, and in some cases water quality. So uh, along with that, uh, we also had a uh, field to market representative, which is uh, food processors. It's a global uh, group that is now looking at uh, from the beginning to the end of what, of what the raw products are that are being produced on our farms and how that ends up on the table. And, and what, what does that look like? What, what's involved in the process? But more importantly, uh, the natural resources that are involved in that production, how, you know, how are, are, you, are you a good steward of that resource? And then we had a, the global ag director uh, for another uh, young, or not young, but uh, another um, uh, representative that gave us a worldwide perspective in terms of a conservation look. And so that really, that really put a, a, a great um, um, start to the day in terms of, of looking out across to the farm. We had over 25 vendors that from irrigation management to data management to uh, measuring soil moisture to, to satellite imagery to help uh, develop uh, those decision-making tools and and it, it gave them an opportunity to take a look at and say hey if this is available and you guys are doing this how do we how do we convey that message to the consumer and and so those 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 panelists were you know on, on the on both sides of not only giving their views of what globally and nationally and, and locally look like but what what What's it going to take for them to deliver the message to us, also as consumers, that they're doing the right thing? Uh, it, it was a great day. Um, it, I can't say enough about the willingness of the vendors to be here. Uh, you had the major irrigation uh, center pivot irrigation manufacturers. You have soil moisture probes. You have uh, uh, data accumulation groups that uh, a Google startup out of San Francisco that that is getting involved in agriculture. They see the opportunity for growth in terms of of assimilating all this data to help making a decision making tool. We'll also have a panel on Tuesday going on with more of the NRDs. Is my understanding? Uh, what is that more focus of conversation going to maybe turn away from or turn towards more in depth too? 
Well, we moved from the Monday, the local to global perspectives. And Tuesday, uh, where we are today, is um, more focused on the grower and giving them the opportunity to see uh, what what lies out there in terms of how they can make better decisions. We're starting off the day with an NRD panel that is from across the state, from the uh, northwest to the southeast, and there's uh, seven uh, NRD managers that have agreed to be a part of that discussion, and, and we're excited about that because they all have different challenges, but they're the same. It's still about it's still about water quality and water quantity, and the distribution of, of groundwater on the NRD system. We also have surface water people here that uh, are very engaged uh, and want to know how do we all talk the same language. And so we're excited about that. Uh, then we're going to break out, uh, give the uh, producers the opportunity to spend time, and then <clears throat> one of the unique things that we've found on we've done several of these now. One of the unique things we found is peer-to-peer sharing. And so one of the requirements as a vendor or as a provider, industry, manufacturer, is that they have to have a producer talk about their technology, talk about their equipment. And that panel then is this afternoon. And then <clears throat> obviously, hopefully that would that would generate more questions and get them back to the uh, to those same people and say, hey, you know, how can I bring this into my operation? How can we make better decisions? How can we look at a whole basin or an NRD or a surface water system and make improvements or just be better stewards? Along with Monday and on Tuesday, about how many participants did you expect there to be with registration for Monday and then also on Tuesday? Who are these amount of people they're talking to? <laughs> Uh, total uh, RSVPs, and that was the, the other part. Is is there's no cost. There's no cost to this. There's no cost to the to the vendors and manufacturers. There's no cost to the producers, other than getting yourself here, taking the time out of your day during the irrigation season and feeding cattle and and livestock and whatever else is happening. But uh, RSVPs for the two days uh, over 470 people. And final question, why are you so passionate about this topic and what do you really hope maybe with your passion that people either on both sides, more of the policy decision making side or the producer side, really take away from this event? Water for generations, quantity and quality. And the young producers, the, the, the producers of my age, you know, we have a responsibility. And where do we have that conversation at? How do we generate the, the enthusiasm that it's the right thing to do? It, it's, it's, it's not free. It, there's some cost associated with it. But in terms of where we're headed as, as Nebraska, I, I'm just an advocate for the state. I'm an advocate for agriculture, and and I'm willing to to share and 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 uh, express the message that it is important all the time. Now, there, there's other things in our business. There's financial and agronomy and and seed and and livestock and and ethanol and all those other. They're all here, and they're they all want to know too. They all want to be a part of that conversation. And and I I believe that uh, these kind of events. And with media and with, with the kind of, of interaction that we have, what an opportunity. I mean, we, it, we, can, we can get this across the state. We're the number one irrigated state in the nation. We should act like it. We'll be talking with Rorick Pullman. He's chairman of the Nebraska Water Balance Alliance and also hosting the field day going on Monday and Tuesday here in Sutherland, Nebraska at Real Farmers, Real Experiences. For the Rural Radio Network, I'm Jesse Harding.